I think that people identify with the idea of somebody doing it themselves. I think there's probably an unspoken kinship. That's my theory about it. I've never really stopped to ask anybody why. Um, but I think that's a big part of why. And also, I feel more passionate about it than anybody else could. How often it, it varies, probably an average of once or twice a week, something like that. Sometimes people want to have their picture taken. It's always a very positive interaction. You know, they want to do like a selfie or something. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. I think people feel inspired by it, at least that's what I've been told. Most of what I do is try to help people just get out of their own way and allow them to make the music that they, everybody can make. You know, one of the things I say often to my students is, you got the car in the garage, you're just not driving it. You know, you just need to kind of like trust and again, I mentioned this before, let yourself make mistakes. It's not unlike the way sea glass is formed. You know, sea glass is glass that started out as just broken glass in the ocean, and it's gotten all smooth from letting the waves crash over it and letting it be tossed around on the sand. One is I try to not eat refined sugar. I'm not always successful with that, but I make an effort. I think what a lot of what it boils down to is I just try to speak the truth to myself. I think that has a lot to do with how you look, you know. And if you are living a life that is open to being, I know it sounds corny, but to being joyful and, and, and affirming who you really are, that's going to come through in how you look. Bryant Park. Why? In the springtime. Because it's right in the middle of everything, but it still has quiet little corners. Um, hmm. Donald Trump is mayor. Probably. <laughs> hawks. I see hawks right outside my window here a lot, and they're huge. They're huge. I see them out here, and I see them in Central Park. I remember one came swooping by me to get a to get a squirrel at one point and it was huge it was like a flying dog it was enormous and uh, I was scared I was palpably scared I think they're beautiful and it's such a I, I love the fact that they're here in New York City this is like their canyon right outside here I've seen them I've seen multiple hawks like flirting with each other one will fly to a water tower and the other one will kind of swoop around and then the first one will take off and then that the one that was swooping around will land on the same water tower and then they'll do the same thing on a different water tower um, it's awesome I would say more mom-and-pop businesses so some kind of city policy to promote that in perpetuity mm -hmm. because I think that's what is such an important part of um, the flavor of the city. And it's something that's, that we're losing. I did take the subway with a guy in a gladiator suit. This is two weeks ago. Just me and him. And the subway car was empty. He was on one end. Full gladiator with like, he had like, I'm going to assume a plastic sword, just, and he was just sitting there. 